So we're here at the Malaya Sadovaya, which in Russian means the small garden. And it was in this small garden street that Narodnya Volya planned its latest attack on Alexander II. Now, Sofia Porovskaya had personally taken the initiative to continue with the attacks on Alexander. In the fall of 1880, Narodnya Volya was achieving successes in other avenues. They had succeeded in penetrating into the workers' unions. They had succeeded in putting operatives into the army. They actually were making inroads to an actual revolutionary potential. And some of the leaders of Narodnya Volya at that point suggested perhaps we should postpone the assassination and pursue some kind of an of a attempt to overthrow the Tsar through a revolution. Sofia Parovskaya was the dominant force in saying, absolutely not. We're never going to forgive the Tsar because he's put in prison too many of our friends, he's hanged too many of our friends, and we're going to achieve what we want through a spectacular terrorist act. And Sofia Perovskaya personally led a squad of scouts which shadowed the Tsar's every move for a period of two months. They watched what he did every day here in St. Petersburg, and from her reports of her scouts, she observed his pattern. The Tsar, at this point, was very, very aware of the high-profile assassination attempts that had made, been made against him, including the Winter Palace explosion, which was a spectacular attempt. And his security had been toughened. He now traveled everywhere in a swift horse-drawn carriage with several horses and always accompanied by six mounted Cossacks. So he was not as easy to approach as he had been in the earlier assassination attempts against him. But Sofia Perovskaya noticed one pattern that he had. Although every other day of the week his schedule was deliberately kept very unpredictable and varying. On Sunday he always went to the Mikhailovsky Manege, which was a parade ground very near Malaya Sadovaya. It's right around the corner from where we're standing now. And when he went back to the Winter Palace from the Manege, he would come through this very street, Malaya Sadovaya. Based on the Tsar's habit in this regard, Perovskaya came up with a plan. Her plan actually was a replay of one she had done twice before. The plan was to dig a tunnel underneath this street and plant a huge charge of dynamite so that when the Tsar came along this street, the dynamite would explode underneath his carriage, killing him. That was, in fact, a plan that Sofia herself had carried out in November of 1879 at the railway outside of Moscow, she had exploded a similar huge dynamite explosion underneath the railroad when the Tsar's train was returning from South Russia, from the Crimea, where he had spent his summer vacation. However, in that instance, it exploded underneath the wrong car, so it blew up jars of marmalade instead of the emperor. That was, one, that was the first spectacular assassination attempt that Narodnya Volya had carried out against the emperor. She also had organized a similar attempt in Odessa in the spring of 1880. That attempt also involved a store, a storefront that would be used to tunnel underneath the street where the Tsar was to drive over. However, that plan did not materialize because the Tsar changed his travel schedule and he did not go through Odessa. They had to abandon that mine. This then was the third attempt they had made to kill the Tsar in basically the same way, and it had Sofia Perovskaya's fingerprints all over it from the beginning.